All right, so it's a cold winter's day. However, all the ice and snow has melted and evaporated and gone away. And we even got a little sun coming out. And I promised you, <clears throat> you viewers, that as soon as the weather got nicer, we would do a little more videography on this cute 1966 Fiat 500. This is the real deal Fiat. It's a real Fiat 500, not like the over-stuffed versions that you'll, you can buy at the dealerships today. This is the original Luigi. Uh, beige with a kind of a little lighter beige interior. Cute, cute thing. Came in for some exhaust work. The exhaust was falling off. And I think we're going to take it for a drive. You can see I've installed some new bolts and hardware that are a little longer. Had to clean up the threads really good. New lock nuts and lock plates. Seems to be a little bit of an oil leak right there at that, uh, probably the oil tube. Probably a drain tube, I imagine, because it's large. A little bit of an oil sweat there. And yes, the uh, air ducting there, thermostat housing is missing. The customer took that off. Um, I forget why he said, but anyhow, it's quiet now. This is a 500cc four stroke engine. Little teeny, teeny carburetor right there. Little teeny thing. Cute as can be. Has a fan over here that's connected to the generator so it draws in cool air and blows the cool air across the top of the head. So we're going to take this thing for a little drive and uh, see, see what you think. Has normal opening doors. And a cute little interior. Look at this. See if I can wedge my big work boots in here. So we're situated. You can see. Well, I don't. You can see. These are um, floor hung pedals. Sorry about my boot there. I spilled a can of white paint on my boot. It looks awful. They're floor hung pedals instead of uh, pedals that hinge from the floor. I'm sorry. They're overhead hinged pedals instead of pedals that hinge from the floor. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, we have a simple gauge cluster right there in kilometers and you can see the shift pattern shift points um, little tiny horn little ashtray what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key on like that so it's on and then down here between the seats we have our choke on the left and our starter on the right so i'm going to put my foot on the clutch pull up on and so we're running now i don't know if you can hear that it's pretty quiet Take the brake off, put her in first gear, and leave the choke on a little bit. And uh, hopefully we can see where we're going here. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful. Any day is a good day to go for a drive in a classic microcar. Motor's a little loud. Block here. Great turning radius. Let's see if we can get through the gears here. Second gear. Perky. It's got some good pickup. Third gear. Nice. Pretty smooth. I don't know if you can hear the interior has got a couple of rattles, but I don't know if it's a four-speed or a three-speed. Put it down in a second. I'm not sure if it's synchronized either. So we'll put her in first. Let's put her in first gear. There we go. Ah. I'm imagining myself driving through and Italian roadside vineyards in one of these would be just great. Oh, it is. A, it does have four speeds. That's great. So we'll pull over here and we'll take a look at our handiwork. Make sure the exhaust is not too loud. Okay. Turn the choke off. It's just got a low idle. Get out and take a look. 
hear Puff Putting away. That's pretty good. Great. Uh, neat little car. Well, thanks for coming along on this little Fiat 500 journey. We're going to shut her down. Key off. It's pretty neat. Love my job being able to drive these cool little cars. That's a fantastic little Fiat right there, I tell you. Fantastic.